This morning, proposals for President Biden's infrastructure plans are bringing new hope that an agreement will be reached soon. Our Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung spoke with Senator Roger Marshall about his thoughts on the plan and what it could mean for Kansas. The new plan cuts down on spending, a major factor for some Republican lawmakers. Now Marshall says things are looking more optimistic for it to pass. But the question remains on how this could impact key areas in the state that need more money to cover costs. I'm at the table, I'm listening. I just hope the White House will participate. U.S. Senator Roger Marshall talking about a new bipartisan proposal for President Biden's infrastructure plan. It would cost about $1.2 trillion over eight years, slashing Biden's initial offer of more than $2 trillion nearly in half. The White House's plan has always called for raising people's taxes uh, to pay for it, and then they start expanding what they want in the infrastructure plan. But it's unclear how this drop in spending could impact key areas in the state that need it most, like caregiving. Some some nursing home staff having to juggle several jobs at a time. Well, I've got some very devoted staff that will work 12, 13, 14 hour days, you know, five days in a row. Long term care officials say more money could help them provide better care to those in need, stacking up on supplies and hiring more workers. This is an ongoing issue. Those rates that we had to pay during the pandemic to get staff, they're never going back to where they were. Marshall says this new proposal may be the solution. We always get the short end of the stick. I think that this targets what really needs to be addressed. Now there are ongoing discussions about this new agreement and Marshall says some of the benefits is that it would use unspent coronavirus relief funds and avoid tax hikes. At the Capitol, I'm Rebecca Chung.